Hello, I'm Dan Smith, one of the field archaeologists here at uh, Jamestown, and we're here again in an early cellar at James Fort, probably from the first couple of years of the colony. And we seem to have reached an occupation layer that's covered with ash. The ash might be associated with these two brick um, ovens or furnaces, anyway, heat sources for the cellar. And we're getting ready to take out the western side of the southern half of this cellar to see if we can help clarify what this cellar was being used for and when it was filled exactly, we think, during the starving time, but we want to make sure by finding anything we can in here to give us a definitive date and activity level. So we'll send you in now to Bly Straub, the head curator uh, in the lab. I'd like to uh, show you a special object that came from the cellar. Um, it's a bone, but it's beautifully engraved um, with a soldier um, of our time period. He's wearing the correct clothing. He's got Venetian pants on. He's wearing a doublet. Uh, he has his hat with a feather and his ruff, Elizabethan ruff. And um, he's holding a sword. Um, if you look on the back, uh, you can see there's some inletting here, uh, which would be used to adhere this piece of bone into a larger object. Um, the question is, what would that object be? Uh, it's probably something military based upon the, the iconography. And um, I have an example here of a similar figure inlaid into a powder flask. This is a German powder flask of the early 17th century. So we would think that it would be something like this or perhaps a, a musket, the stock of a musket. Um, but we have not found an exact parallel yet. We're still working on that to try to find it. Um, the design itself would be taken from a book of designs, perhaps made by Jacob de Gein, who was a Dutch artist working in the early 17th century. And this is an example of his work, which is very similar. You can see a soldier holding a sword. And he's got his Venetian pants on and his doublet as well. So one of the more you know, interesting and exciting finds, very beautifully made and the engraving itself has been colored with uh, black coloring to bring out, to enhance the design.